All right, thank you, Hunter. Well, new at 6.30, we've gotten an important reminder before you hop into your car this morning. Officers say too many people are doing the wrong thing when they see emergency vehicles coming up behind them. That means it's taking them longer to get to an emergency call. Our morning reporter, Juan A. Reese, joins us live from Bibb County Law Enforcement Center to explain what you can do to help. Good Monday morning, Juan A. Well, good Monday morning to you, Aaron. Deputies that I spoke to say when drivers see law enforcement behind them, sometimes they'll freeze up in the middle of the road or they even try to jet through the light. But I got a chance to speak with Lieutenant Scott Davis, and he told me what's the right thing to do. Is that motorists, a lot of times they try to stop in the lane that they're in just to a dead stop. Lieutenant Scott Davis with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says this is a common mistake drivers make when they see emergency vehicles. In highways, you'll have a vehicle traveling the left lane. They just stop in that lane. That is not proper. That's why BSO wants to break down the move over law. The law requires you to pull to the most right shoulder of the road curb or shoulder that you can on the approach of that emergency vehicle. The governor's state office of highway safety says if you cannot move over, you should slow down. There's no way to go, then that emergency vehicle will show due regard, but it's also will he'll navigate or she will navigate through uh, whatever the scenario is. If you don't move over, you can be fined up to $500. Even if you're on a large highway, Davis says you should slow your roll. If it's a four or five lane highway, if it's the interstate, it is the same thing. You change lanes, you navigate, you, you make that attempt to get to the farthest right portion of the roadway. Now, one thing to always remember is when you see those first responders coming behind you, that means that they're on their way to a medical emergency, a fire, or even a crime scene. And that those minutes can mean them saving somebody's life. So, Aaron, definitely a great message. If you see those first responders coming behind you, you just need to try to move over to the right safely. Live in Macon, Juanye Reese, 13 at WMAZ News. All right, good advice there. Thank you, Wanye. We do have more information posted on our website about how to safely move over. We'll have that for you later on on 13WMAZ.com.